Hi, welcome to our headcount system video. My name is Devlin and this is my teammate, Adam Daniel and Nick Esaya. Before we go any further into this video, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to our product. A headcount system is an approach that is used to measure the number of people traversing a certain passage or entrance. A lot of existing approaches have been made, for example include system manual clicker, smart flooring technology, infrared beams, thermal imaging system, Wi-Fi tracker, and video counter with using advanced machine learning algorithm. This is a video we found on YouTube posted by Padama official YouTube channel showing a very busy atmosphere in a supermarket in our country. This kind of environment is very very dangerous especially in our era right now which is COVID-19 pandemic. We need to make sure that everyone is following SOP and practicing social distancing. This is why our government created SOP in the first place, to decrease the spreading rates of the virus. One of the rules is to limit the amount of people inside a building at one time. This rule applies to supermarkets and small shop grocery stores. This is where the headcount system came into the story because it can help monitoring the amount of person inside the building and also limit the amount of person inside the store at one time. This is a short video of customer POV using card headcount system in a supermarket. So before a customer get inside the supermarket, they need to take their body temperature reading and then scan Masijatra on their phone. After that, they're going to take one of the cards for the headcount system inside the supermarket. After that, they're going to hold on to their card during shopping until they get out from the supermarket. After he's done shopping, he goes back home. But then he just realized that he brought back the card from the supermarket with him. And this is a huge mistake. From the shop video, we can identify three main weaknesses using card headcount system. The first weakness is the card can be a medium to spread bacteria and viruses. Multiple customers can touch the same card over and over again and this can potentially uh, can be a, a way for the viruses and bacteria to spread through other customers. The second weakness is it cannot tell how many people inside the shop quickly and accurately because, head, because card headcount system is built to limit customers inside the shop and not to to accurately monitor how many people inside the shop. The third weakness is staff need to constantly remind customer to return the card. Some customer can be forgetful and they can accidentally bring back the card like you seen uh, inside the short video. But we can combat these weaknesses using our hand wave headcount system. These are three main strengths of our product. The first one is reduce the potential of customers spreading bacteria and viruses. Our device uses IR sensor that can detect customer hand wave. So they don't need to touch anything. Therefore, there are no medium for the customer to spread bacteria and viruses. Second strength is the device can limit and monitor amount of customer inside the building. The staff who works in the supermarket can use our application to monitor amount of customer inside the building. They can also use it to limit the customer 
they can enter the building at one time. Last but not least, customer will have a better experience shopping. This is because they don't need to worry to return a card after they go out because there are no card use usage at, to begin with.